Chinese. So what are you dressed as today then? Oh, a Chinese. She's Chinese. So you have Chinese in you? No. Oh, okay. Chantel. Okay. On my mother's side, I'm Maroon, Indian and Scottish. On my father's side, I'm Indian and I guess African. And so I dress in bandana because you know Jamaicans are mixed stuff everything. So I only stuff everything. Other Chantel? Hello! Bonjour! Yeah. Um, my dress is modern form of French, European, by my mother's side. But I don't know if she's from France. I don't know, I'm just representing the European side today. And of course, Daddy. And here we have Josh just walking with you. What culture is this? Tell us a little bit. I'm a Revival. I am representing the revival religion, Yo, which is kind of prevalent in Jamaica. And um, I chose this religion because it somewhat leads to the kind of person I am, you know, this lively, upbeat person. So, that's what I chose. Love is my religion. What culture is this? Cameroonian. Cameroonian? You have Cameroonian in you? No, I have a Cameroonian friend. <laughs> Alright, we're just going through the different. Costume that people are wearing today. There's no bounce. I have an African yeah, yeah. I'm very unique in my culture. My culture is very diverse. My people are beautiful, although dark skinned. But that is for later. <laughs> this, yes, I'm embracing my African culture. My roots. People are so ashamed to say, yes, they're African. And I'm not one of those people. Yes, Africa all the way. My ancestors were slaves. They came here and they toiled hard, they suffered on plantations, and now we are free. We're empowered people. Paul to Marcus Garvey. Yeah, Nelson Mandela. Oprah. <laughs> What culture are you just up uh, as? Tell us a little bit about it. I am displaying the African culture in Oh, I have the other part, but I don't have it all. So. I'm black. Okay, we're Chinese. And this I'm is black. our traditional dress. This is a chong sam. This is a chong sam top. It means long dress. Um, and there's a thing at the side, you see? And there, it has a traditional long split. And it's makes her bottom. You should know. <laughs> and it's meant to be like clothes at the side because like it's for the I am. He's Indian. And this is us. A male sari. No, it's a porta. Oh, it's a porta. It's a porta. It's a porta. No, I look at his shoes. You look at his shoes. And my shoes, shoes are balling. Like, my this shoes is are super balling. Oh, well, that's Jamaican style Indian. It's the swagger. Okay. Okay. Well, as you know, Haile Selassie, the greatest, you know, it's called me and my outfit. I can break the sash. However, I did my best. As you know, the jewelry. Yes, yes. There's a lot under there, but you won't see right now, right? Slippers representing as usual. A chain on my hand, as you see, goes along past that. Yes, so Chris, tell us what inspired your costume for Continental. Well, what inspired my costume was my family originates from Europe, certain parts of Europe, such as Portugal, Scotland, and Britain. So, so I decided I'd dress up. And that's where. How long did you do? Um, well, with the help of Shiv, it took approximately a couple hours because he had to find the clothes for that together. So, you know what inspired you? Um, that you were there? I 
Yeah. What is it, the rain? Okay, so you had a slide. Ah. Oh my, did you go out of it? Did you have a meal? So, what inspired you to the Rasta. So is it like you have an admiration for the Rasta community or is it like you're affiliated with them what's going on? No, I like colours. Like colours? Last year. What are you? <laughs> Same Rasta. No, 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 no. Nice still in the police one nice. But, you know, what, 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 are you, what is your costume affiliated with? Obiel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Obiel woman. <laughs> so you come from Haiti? I am rich. So it's like an experience you had with the Obia women or is it that you just Or is it that you just, you know, felt that you wanted to represent them today? What's going on? I heard a calling from the spirits. My name. Interview. Oh, Lord. Mm. Interview. Yeah. So what inspired your culture costume? Well, actually, to be very honest with you, I didn't give it much thought. I just had this material at home, and since I'm a seamstress, I just decided to do something very easy. Inspired your costumes that you are culture. You have a specific name or anything like that? You can tell us about it. <laughs> just Jamaica. 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 So how long did it take? She's an African queen. About Ooh. an hour. I was put together. Everything you had it like laid out in your mind. I just got into the closet this morning and said, "All right, let me just take out stuff." I didn't lay out in your mind. Lay out in your mind. You had no. No, it's a lady. <laughs> right. So yeah. So I mean, you know, how are you enjoying culture today so far? Anything you could have done to improve this? Um, no, not really. I'm just good. The only thing that might have been better is if you never had any class. She's my bandana so, sister. <laughs> yeah. Back and touch for a second, quickly. Filmmaker Society. That's us. I'm going to pick it for you. I have a work. Well, hi mommy, this is Carol. I'm not I'm getting ahead of money. Um, not really. What's happening is I want to go Indian, right? But mommy's like, no, the Indian clothes to hide and see you or whatever, right? So I have to go with the next best thing. Okay, what inspired your culture? Oh, you know the African queen missing a lot of them around today. As we all know, I'm a Nubian princess. Ah, queen, I can talk. <laughs> so, I guess I always wanted that theme because Miss Morgan actually inspired me when she did it last year. Actually, so, how long did it take to put this together? Did you just have it lying around? Or? Not lying around, I had to ask around a lot of people. And this lady finally had plenty that meant to me. Oh, I see. So, how enjoy culture day so far? It's cool because I'm getting a lot of compliments and people are saying, yes, you are embracing your culture. So, you know, what inspired your culture day in costume? You know? From the colors you can tell, right? <laughs> right so, so how long did it take to put together? Actually, I borrowed it from my grandma. Oh, you borrowed it from her? So you just asked her this morning or was it like last week? Yesterday. Color? Oh, yesterday? Okay, so how are you enjoying culture so far? It's fun. It's fun, yeah? You going to the culture concert? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, any plans for next year? We're going to be big next year, like fashion nights, like not stuff. sure. You don't know yet, nothing about yet. See I know, see I know what I am feeling in my heart and in my soul Oh I know that it's this love And I know that this love was fully set from above Cause you're the only one and I think